subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. After the massive announcement that the WWE red brand Raw would be moving to Netflix for the next 10 years worth $5 billion. Now there, you will not believe, guys. You will not believe all the changes and all the enhancements and all the differences that are going to happen. We're going to get, we're going to detail it right on here for each and every one. You remember you are uh, our hourly source, the hourly source for all news, rumors, headlines, speculation, gossip, and debate. Sean View Entertainment is going to anticipate that you're going to get it all here, all rare, and Sean View Entertainment will be fair to each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news as it concerns raw movies. Moving to Netflix. One of the big things is going to be commercial free. Yes, Monday Night Raw will be commercial free on Netflix, according to those in the know. Now, of course, plans can change, things can process, things can go in different directions, you know. Um, but as of right now, Raw will be commercial free when it moves to Netflix. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, Sean, I can't get Netflix. I can't afford Netflix. Well, you don't have to get the top tier. You can get, you know, I think the $6.99, the $7.99 one. And, and of course, WWE, this this is major and cataclysmic because now talks Netflix potentially uh, mining W. Yeah, so again WWE again the news just keeps coming in, guys. This is one of the most noteworthy news days of 2024 so far. Let me tell you that right now. And I think this is going to be huge for WWE because this is going to put more eyes on Raw. It's going to attain new fans. It's going to bring in older fans. It's going to bring in the current fans. I mean, this is major. This is huge, and this is cataclysmic. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes is expressing certainty that no one will derail his WrestleMania 40 story. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, just coming in right now, more details being unraveled about Monday Night Raw. There is a feeling from those in the know, and again, plans can change. Always things can be different, and that's why we update you with the latest, the greatest, and newest. So remember to sign up to become a channel member today or donate in the comment section with a super thanks donation to show your appreciation for the brash and the brazen. That WWE could no longer be PG. WWE may no longer, no longer be PG. It may not have to be silenced. No, WWE moving to TV 14, once again, or TV MA, which would allow for more brutal violence, blood, language. Uh, you know, back in the Trish Stratus Lita era, the Braun panties matches, the, you know, the pudding matches, the gravy bowl matches, what, what have you. I, I mean, it would just allow the WWE more out of the scope, your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Again, there's going to be a lot of differences. There's going to be a lot of variables with Monday Night Raw moving to Netflix. Now, again, the thought process is there is going to be more good than bad when Raw moves to Netflix. Now, that's not the only change. SmackDown is going to USA. So WWE isn't entirely off of USA. They might be moving away from USA with Raw, but SmackDown will be going to uh, the USA Network, and NXT will be getting... Uh, and going on the CW. So, WWE, guys, this I'll tell you what this ensures, of course, according to industry insiders, is that, you know, you always say the rumors about WWE's demise and WWE going out of business and WWE shutting down. This will now ensure, this move, this pivotal move, this historic move, will now make sure that WWE will never, ever go out of business. WWE will never, ever shut down with their Saudi Arabia deal, with their Netflix deal, with their Peacock deal, their CW deal, the USA Network deal. The WWE is at an all-time high. I mean, it would have to take something massive, something cataclysmic, a World War III, perhaps, for the WWE to ever shut down. And even then, it's questionable. The only thing that has ever shut down WWE... Uh, was was the COVID outbreak. That was the only thing that shut down the WWE. And even then, they didn't shut down because they still operated without an audience. So, th- guys, I-, I cannot tell you again how big and how major and how, how changing this is for World Wrestling Entertainment. And, guys, that's not all because listen to this one. This coming in in real time in front of each and every one of you guys. Listen to this one. I am receiving word right now. I am receiving word right now, guys. Hold on. We're just trying to pull it up here. The Rock Stone Cold at WrestleMania 40. Stone Cold, The Rock at WrestleMania 40. There's a rumor going out there right now that Austin and The Rock could meet one more last time at WrestleMania 40 in part four between Austin and The Rock of that storied rivalry between these two superstars, these two studs, two of the all-time, if not the greatest superstars in history. Imagine Austin and The Rock. I think that would be in slow motion, said Austin with a laugh. I don't know about that, but Philly would be a great place for it to happen. 
I worked with The Rock at WrestleMania 15, and we rocked the house. I pinned his shoulders to the mat, one, two, three. But I don't know about that happening right now. But Stone Cold probably in some way, shape, or form would be at WrestleMania 40 along with The Rock. And The Rock has also not shut down the idea of going one-on-one with Roman Reigns at this year's WrestleMania. Now, of course, there's a lot of WWE superstars that want to finish their story. They want to get it over with. They want to say that they've ended it how it was supposed to end, the storybook ending of a lifetime. And are you excited that WWE Raw is going to be ad-free, commercial? free guys sometimes Monday Night Raw has Raws that are commercial free but that's only here and there now once Raw goes to Netflix it will be all commercial free so that's a major advantage and for those of you that say oh I don't want to buy Netflix I don't want to get Netflix well that might make you change your mind because you're going to have no other choice but to get Netflix and again you don't have to get the most expensive one you can get the one that's a little bit lower and of course you know then you got your Peacock and then you get the CW that's on regular television I mean you, you can tell that cable TV is phasing out slowly but surely cable TV is phasing out ladies and gentlemen it's all about your thoughts your comments and your feedback and are you are you for the changes? Are you for Raw going to Netflix? Uh, again, Raw and WWE have been on USA for years and years and years and years. There's only one other time that they was they moved, and that was when they moved to TNN. But then they came back in 2005. But this will be the end of the USA. And then now people can't complain about ratings, TV ratings. They're up, they're down, they're high, they're low, they're this, they're that, the other. Again, WWE, let's be honest, was never going to get the TV ratings of the Attitude Era. They ain't going to see no 8s and 9s and 10s and 12s and 13s and 15s. But now what they're going to see is Netflix will allow WWE more audience, a more broader audience. It ain't just going to be this niche audience. It's going to be people all over the place. And again, Netflix isn't in the sports entity. They're not really for sports, but this is not sports. This is sports entertainment. That's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. More to come from Show and Tim where we raise the bar on the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive, the most descriptive. If it's not brash, it is absolute trash. Subscribe. And are you excited that Raw will be commercial free in 2025?